Good evening. We're here again the second uh, day two of Manila Cup 2016 at Acropolis uh, Clubhouse in Libis. Right now, um, we're here with Justin Wong and Ricky Ortiz of Evil Geniuses. And um, hi guys. Uh, oh, sorry. Hi. And um, with us here is also from Ram of GG Network. He's also here to con uh, give up and his questions later for Justin and Ricky. Mm -hmm. So, um, Ricky. Um, I'm pretty sure this is your first time here, uh, coming here. Definitely my first time, yeah. Yeah, and um, how was the experience so far playing with our local gaming community? I, I'm having a really good time here. I like to travel a lot, especially to places I've never been before. And here, the community is very vibrant. They have a lot of passion, and they're very enthusiastic when they play. And I love that a lot about you guys. It's very awesome. Thank you. And uh, how about you, Justin? So it's my first time here, um, Filipino champ. Um, he always talks about how awesome Manila is, so it's it's been uh, a long time coming for me coming to uh, Manila, and just me coming here experiencing it first time. It's it's amazing because um, I just love coming and seeing a lot of people that I will probably never see in the United States. So I, who can when can you ever say hey you're gonna travel to Manila to play video games? You know, and I think that's an amazing experience and. Everything has just been amazing, like up to like 10 out of 10 so far. Um, Ram would like to give up his question. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, um, how about your. Okay, so any chance if ever next year we're going to have a Nuno Cup? Any chance you want to come back? Here? I would definitely come back again. I've had, like Justin said, I've had an amazing experience as well. Beautiful people, very amazing, vibrant people. The food here is really good, the competition is good, and it's just beautiful weather. I would definitely come back. How about you, how about you, Justin? You guys are in on coming back. That's 100%. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Um, well, what was your mindset coming into Manila, Manila Cup? Um, my mindset was um, I really want to win mm -hmm. an Asian ranking event mm -hmm. because um, obviously anytime when someone talks online, America is free. So that's why we came out full force to uh, just try to take the tournament. and. Results speak for themselves, and uh, I got I got to say, America is not free. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, my mindset coming here is um, I'm I'm still on the road to be to get qualified, so I definitely want to earn points or potentially win an event. But yeah, like that, like Justin said, um, a lot of people like to say that the USA doesn't like to travel or go anywhere. Even though we do travel anywhere, we just don't have time to always fly to Asia for events because they have a lot of events just like the USA. But I mean, we came because like I, like you said, Ryan is one of our great really great friends, and he's been talking a lot about. The, the, the Filipino community, so we decided to come and show everybody like, that we can actually compete and play in international events. You mentioned that you travel a lot. Um, out of curiosity, how, how does how do you get to practice? Let's say, especially if a new game comes out, uh, how does that work for you guys? When a new game comes out, I tend to play a lot. I play it a lot early on when the game comes out, but usually I take advantage of the tournaments when I'm at them. Like if, if I'm at a tournament, say week to week to week, I'll play a lot of casuals with, with the locals or a bunch of friends or I'll play with Justin in our hotel room. And that's usually at a tournament, that's my practice. When I'm playing in a tournament and I'll play casually outside of it. And every now and then when I'm at home, I'll, I'll play some training mode or plan line a little bit. But that's about it. Yeah, pretty much what Ricky said. It's just uh, when you do travel week to week, the only thing you lose is uh, access to training mode as mm -hmm. often as possible because sometimes you want to find uh, just new strategy on how to play your game and how to get better but that's why the internet is there where a lot of people find out a lot of strategy and you just watch it on YouTube or event hubs and it, it's really thanks to the community to that brings out all different type of strategies with all different types of characters mm -hmm. because without the content we will we'll, we'll probably be still playing very slow compared to how advanced we're playing right now. Um. Was there, was there someone specifically that you were looking forward to face in the tournament? Um, I think I think I played everybody. That was really good. The yes. only person I do want to play is Bonchan because I never beat Bonchan in, in, in a tournament before. <laughs> Super so, so yeah, he always beat Mystery Fire 4 like really bad. So I would love to just kind of play Mystery Fire 5 as a new mm. game and just say I have a win over Bonchan. So coming into this, you wanted to, to fight Bonchan? Yeah. Um, I like to play new players, so I haven't got to play all the international players yet. So I, I, I thought I would have a good time playing them and have a good chance against them. But the one I, I wanted to play the most was Ata because I think I'm really good versus Ken. And I definitely beat him, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your message to the fans? Mm, 
Well, do not get discouraged because anytime you play a fighting game and if you lose, it's really discouraging. And you, all you have to do is just stay motivated and just keep playing because you know it's your passion, mm -hmm. right? Because um, fighting games are, are not easy to pick up. People think fighting games is just doing this, but it's not. You have to really practice and put a lot of time to it. But the more you practice, the result, and you'll eventually see the results. And who doesn't want to see results? Ah, uh, yeah, de definitely. Be hungry, be enthusiastic, and have a positive outlook on the game. Because yes, they're very hard to play, but um, with you practicing and you playing a fighting game over and over and just grinding it out, you can only get better. You can never get worse. It just takes time and patience, and eventually you'll thrive in the fighting game. Thank you so much, Ricky and Justin. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for coming. For us Congratulations for winning the, uh, the Street Fighter Five. Thank you. In thank you. In <laughs> yeah, definitely. We would be happy to see you guys again next year. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And this is Anna from Rainbow Files uh, coming again from Manila Cup 2016.